Today in the physics lab, we'll be doing an investigation on looking at the relationship between impulse and changing momentum. We'll be using a smart cart and we're going to vary the impulse by changing what the smart cart collides with. We will be attaching different springs. I have two springs here and uh, one of them is what we would call a low K spring. It's very easy to compress. The other one is a high K spring. It's a little stiffer. And finally, we'll be using a rubber stopper, uh, a rubber bumper at the end of the car. So we can exchange all of those um, on, the, on the track. And then we want to look at the impulse and the change of momentum as a cart travels down the track, collides with the bumper, and then recoils back. So we're gonna use SparkView and create a couple of graphs so that we can see what the, what the impulse is and what the change of momentum is. Um, this is a predetermined, a pre-created graph, and so you can see from the directions that we've got a display with two, two sets of data here. The first graph that you see on the right is for us to get the impulse in, and it is a force and time graph. And we're gonna have to find the area of a spike as we see the cart collide with the bumper. The second graph is a velocity and time graph. And we can see that as the cart goes down the hill, the velocity will increase and increase and increase. And when it collides with the bumper, it will suddenly bounce back and go the other direction. And in this graph, we're gonna be looking at both the maximum and minimum values to tell us the velocity right before it hit the bumper and the velocity as it came off the bumper. Knowing that this change in velocity multiplied by the mass of the cart will give me a change of momentum. And then also knowing that this impulse graph, a force times time is area under the curve. And that will give me the impulse that I'm looking for. So we'll be using SparkView, having to go in and analyze each one. We're going to record these in the data table. I'll begin with the low K spring, and we're gonna send the cart back progressive distances as it collides with the cart. So it will give us some sort of data that looks something like this. We'll simply start SparkView. We'll let the cart go. It'll collide. We'll stop the cart. And then we'll make this data a bunch bigger so that you can actually zoom in and see it. So that's the gist of it. We'll then change the uh, distances. Then we'll change the spring. Finally, we'll end up with the rubber stopper. And then we'll kind of analyze each portion of our data to see what this relationship is between impulse and change in momentum.